Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be teaching about how to read something in a file. So I'm going to teach you how to create the file, an input file and output file. So let's begin. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to create uh, my first, this one I'm going to call it, uh, I will see, let me just say file as. So if I say main, I'm going to create it. I have already main in this file. I think I'm going to use it. Yes. When I use it, but there was a program here already. So I have created a main file. So when I create a main, main file dot cpp, I'm going to write hash include, but it's not really necessary to write a stream because we are going to be using f stream. So the main header file that we need to write is hash include f stream. Then using namespace is as usual in space s t. Then after I will have my int main. So now, before when you write a, you were used to write a c in c out. Let me say c out. Okay. We know that when you write c out is to display, display in in a screen. So now we were going to write something that is going to display something in what in a file. So we are not going to use the c in and c out. So now we are going to declare. When we declare for if stream when we say if stream is a declaration so this if stream of ours is going we are going to declare something which means we are going to take read a file it's like input for input we're going to call it an in stream just for you not to get confused and i will have off stream when i declare off stream so for off stream i will call it out stream out stream so i have declared so this in stream that you see here is going to be taken it's like for input in other words it's for in input and then when i say input is going to be reading in a file né? it's going to be doing what reading reading in a file so we also have this output this one is for output né? output is going to be writing in a file output is going to be what writing in a file né? In a file so when we say in a file remember you everything that we've been doing so far we were doing something that display in a screen and it takes input in the keyboard we're using ce so now we are going to be doing it writing in a file and output writing in a file and taking something in a file so when we have declared this you can write um, let's say for example we can open now we have to open a file we can say in stream the name this is name i'm going to be writing you can see it there in stream dot open every time when you write in a file you have to open the file so what is the name of that file that we are opening i'm going to call it matter is for input matter i will call it matter i prefer using my names so when i call it matter you have to because it's a file yeah i'm going to call matter dot that dot that dot text or let me use text so i have opened the file né? for input out stream i'm going to for out stream for output is dot open we also have to open this file né? i'm going to name it it have to be because it's a file there is a file this matamera dot text is a file for inputs it's written something that i'm going to read to and this other one i'm going to name it root endo dot text it rootendo rootendo dot text t this file i'm going to be writing something in it so which means this two and must when you are working with the file you must have to file the other one whereby you are going to be reading as info what is written in the file and the other one which you are going to be writing what is written in a file so many students they make a mistake they use same names here and when you use same name you find out that your file is not working so when your file is not working you're going to have a problem that's the problem part so let's say in this file that i'm going to be writing i'm going to be reading in which we call it in stream it have numbers we are going to add those three numbers or two numbers so 
I'm going to, I have to declare, I'm assuming that in my file there is number for int. So I'm going to declare int x, int y, and int z. So when I declare this, I have to take it now instead of using ce. I don't use ce. I'm going to be using the name in stream. In stream. So which means this one we call it a uh, what extraction extraction operator. I'm going to put extraction operator x again y and z. So after that, I'm going to write something in my what in root and those file, which I'm going to call it outstream and I use outstream and I'm going to use a uh, in section in section operator in section operator then I'm going to say the sum of three number of three number number in in file in in file or in input input file is ne? is then after that when i say is let me just i'm just trying to break the trying to break the is i'm going to add them i can just put brackets plus y plus z ne? Mm -hmm. let me just say end line just for mm -hmm. i'm still going to teach you a lot about in file there is a lot of things i'm going to still do and uh, explain what is new why do you write end line like this why i'm going to tell you we just many students i know we just know that when you write end line it's going to new line but there is a reason why you write it like this we are still going to that chapter for now let's focus on reading fine so now i already wrote done that so when i already done that every time when you write it's not really necessary it's necessary because your file can be corrupted you have to close your file when you close your file here in this file remember when i write something like it's a function inside this function there's argument so when you close a file you don't have to write the argument which means i'm going to, want to say in stream for example stream for input dot close then i just write like that inside here parenthesis there is no nothing there is no argument so i'm gonna also go to upstream dot close Then return zero to finish. But now, when after that, I'm done writing this. Uh, I'm done with this. Uh, what we call? I'm done with this uh, program. Ne? But there is more important thing. Where this? Uh, sorry, I think. Uh, let me say undo. As I see. Okay, I want to put comma. So where this file? You see, main is. I have to exactly create another file two files the name the first file i said is matamera.txt so i'm going to create when i create this one i'm going to say save file as i have to make sure this file is exactly where my main file is okay? so i'm going to name it matamera is for input.txt so this one here when you check it means all files so it's going to be fine i will save it you see, now I have matamera.txt. You must make sure that matamera and this name here, they are the same, matamera.txt. So I'm going to create another file. Ne? When you create another file, it's good, we're going to call it root end. Let me create again. Mm -hmm. I'm changing the name. Root end is going to be in where? It must be in the root end root so when i say root root.txt i must make sure this name is the same as this root end exactly the way i wrote it now i can create numbers here i can create 10 10 and 10 so we know the sum of 10 is 30 but i can even create 20 it's going to take only three numbers ne? this is the file that i've created sometimes in your computer you can go to a file for example you go to documents after when you go to documents you're going to see rutendo and matamera if we check if we say matamera you will see m i have a lot of i don't see that file matamera okay i do see it now there it is 